All right, here we have a corn pellet stove, and we're starting off uh, with burning some pellets. Um, if we're going to burn corn, that's a good idea too. You light it with pellets, um, and then the auger in the back there uh, will feed the corn or pellets in. And that's what's going on right now. There's also uh, some uh, pipes you see there that are um, basically a, a U, a sideways U-shaped um, bunch of black iron, three-quarter inch pipes. Now that's the pipe burner. We're going to be burning um, waste vegetable oil on this corn stove to show that's uh, a viable option. Uh, right now we just uh, installed all that and let it heat up. Um, you um, do need to clean those about once a day. Um, so I've cleaned it, you know, and put it back in there. Um, and I'm now heating everything up. There's a small tank of waste vegetable oil with a 100 watt light bulb in there. Um, if for some reason that oil gets cold, I like to be able to turn on a 100 watt light bulb for a little while to heat it up. Here we have a small needle valve that's 3 8 inch you know, copper fittings and a compression needle valve. There's also a 110 volt uh, solenoid valve. Now that's going down to a quarter inch so that we can feed the oil into the door just by kind of just pinching it in there and then we adapt back to 3 eighths and feed the pipe burner. I'll go ahead and turn up the needle valve. The solenoid valve is hooked to the auger so every time the auger turns on the solenoid valve kicks in. And of course it's burning on low as far as the pellets are concerned but we'll see a little bit of action once the oil gets down to the burner. All of a sudden we're getting quite a bit more fire. Okay now that'll help heat things up and really will burn you know, nice and hot. There's just a little bit of air getting in through the door, so there's just a slight black smudge on the on the door there that you know I really need to get some of that uh, a sealer um, to stop the air from getting in there because that makes a cold spot right there at the door, and that doesn't burn as well as the rest of the glass. The glass pretty much stays clean. And when it burns real hot, that does burn off. And it takes a little while to get going, but um, essentially that's it. You know, um, I turn the pellets on low, but as soon as that heats up, I gotta make sure the air blower heat exchanger is turned on full. So, got a combustion area pretty much filled with flames. It pulses just a little as that solenoid kicks in and goes out. Oil, you know, is allowed to get into the pipe burner, but um, that smooths it out uh, once it gets nice and hot, um, even though the auger still. You know, pulses that solenoid. That's pretty much it. Waste feel heat um, pretty efficiently from this corn stove burner. This is an inexpensive unit, it, uh, although pretty good. Uh, it's called a Englander corn stove.